What's up guys, Dalmatter here, and today we're going to be reacting to a new channel. So this is 6 News Australia, and uh, yeah, I guess they're Australian News Network, pretty obvious. Not sure which side of the fence they fall on, never heard of them before, but this is Senator Delivers Brain Rot Speech in Parliament, Skibbity, 6 News. So, yeah, I already don't want to hear this, but whatever. Link to the original video, <laughs> let's jump into it. Today I rise to address an oft forgotten segment of our society. I speak of Generation Z, who will be playing a substantial role in the next election, and Generation Alpha, who will start to come of age the election after. It is for this reason that I shall now render the remainder of my statement using language they're familiar with. To Dear God, this is going to be so bad. The Sigmas of Australia, I say that this goofy air government have been cap- The worst part is, this is like, how do you do fellow kids, but she doesn't even look that old. Like, she's, how old, what's this girl's name? Fatima Payman. Alright, search. 29 years old. So this girl is technically Gen Z herself. I don't know when the, the uh, Australian census considers Gen Z, but by Canadian census she would be Gen Z. American, she's, I think, I think American started at 96. So she's, she's like right on the cut. She's either Gen Z or right on the cusp, depending on when the Australians start their census. And it still is like, how do you do fellow kids? Tapping. Not just now, but for a long time. A few of you may remember when they said, there'll be no phantom tax under the government I lead. They're capaholics. They're also yapaholics. They yap non-stop about how their cost of living measures are changing lives for all Australians. Just put the fries in the bag, little bro. They tell us that they're locked in on improving the housing situation in this country. They must have brain rot from watching too much Kai Sinat and forgot about their plans. <laughs> oh, she just references Kai. Oh my god. Also, it's, it's weird hearing somebody who's very clearly a migrant complain about the housing crisis. This is one of the things I always find funny, right? Nobody wants to address the elephant in the room when it comes to the housing crisis, right? Because the conservatives in so many countries, the American conservatives, the Republicans will just fucking come out and say it. They'll be like, there's too much immigration, fucking stop it, right? Every other Western country, though, especially other Anglo every other Anglosphere country, the conservatives are just so fucking terrified to just say it's a supply and demand issue. There's too much demand and not enough supply. We need to build more houses and cut immigration, right? Nobody wants to address the elephant in the fucking room, though. That's why I wish, I, like, the, I'm so jealous of the American, like, the Republicans of the states because they'll actually, you know, they won't ever fucking do anything 90% of the time, but at least they'll fucking talk about what the issue is. I mean, the Conservative Party of Canada, I'm assuming the Conservative Party of Australia, I know for sure the Conservative Party of the UK, will just not address the issue. They just try to outflank the left and outleft the left. To ban social media for kids under 14. If that becomes law, you can forgo skull emoji all about watching Duke Dennis or catching a dub with the bros on Fort. Chat, is this prime... Uh, oh, this, Fortnite's not social media. Prime Minister serious? Even though he's the Prime Minister of Australia, sometimes it feels like he's the CEO of... Ohio, I would be taking an L <laughs> if I did not mention the ops who want to cut WA's GATS and services tax. The decision voters will be making in a few months' time will be between a mid-government, a dog water opposition, or a crossbench that will mock both of them. Though some of you cannot yet vote, I hope when you do, it will be in a more goated Australia for a government with more aura. Skibbity. Skibbity. Oh, God. Everything about that is fucking horrible. It's like, like, bro, you're the same fucking age as people that use that slang, or some of them. And you st it still sounds like, how do you do, fellow kids? Which party is she from? Um, Afghan, Australian politician. Oh, she's, all, she's from the Labor Party. Okay, that makes sense. Jesus Christ. Who's in charge right now in Australia? The current government in charge. Uh, 
Australian Prime Minister. Anthony Albanese. Oh, wait, so she he's in the same party as her. Oh, wait, no, she left to become an independent. Uh, was she complaining that they weren't left-wing enough? Is that what it is? Wouldn't surprise me. I mean, she's from Afghanistan and went to an Islamic university in Australia, which is, how is that even a thing? And the Aussies, you guys might be more cucked than we are. But anyway, let me know what you think below. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.